Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so happy to be sitting in front of you today next to this Kipling goodie. Hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you all what transpired. So yesterday, my mom and my sister and I, we all went on a little girl's day because of course, as you all know, I had to take back my Anna Sui items. And I found out that <clears throat> I am saying her name wrong, which I knew I was. One of the wonderful, beautiful young ladies at Kipling told me how to pronounce her name correctly. So it's actually Anna Sui and I had been saying Anna Sue in all of my videos. So I am incredibly apologetic for that. So eek. <laughs> let me go ahead and tell you all why I am sitting next to the mystery bag. Mm. <laughs> so I'm fanning myself, y'all, because I am filming in my daughter's room and I don't, I try to find a room where I could leave the door open and it would still be quiet so that my cat <laughs> won't have a fit. And she is kind of like walking around here happy that I don't have any closed doors. <laughs> so yesterday when we were all out, I had to return my and a Sui items to Macy's. And it was an easy, quick return, y'all. Macy's is wonderful for that. As long as you have your receipt and everything, they're not gonna give you any types of problems. So I returned those items, but then I also went to the Kipling outlet. And because I was out that way, right? Because why drive a whole hour and then not stop there? Because I was out that way, in my mind, I decided that I was going to go ahead and purchase another Anna Sui little small mini pouch. I believe it's called the art pouch. So when I got there, I saw the pouch and I started to immediately look around the store. And when I searched around the store, would you all believe what I found? Oh my gosh. Let me open up this bag, okay? So I'm gonna bring it down here, pull it out. Y'all, mm, take a look. Oh my gosh take a look at what was sitting on the shelves I say specifically for your girl here okay this bag was sitting on the top shelf towards the back in the 60% off section I was completely blown away. I could not believe it y'all. When I say amazed was not even the word to describe, the ladies were looking at me like I literally lost my mind when I saw a Kipling Alber in this gorgeous gold color and the specific name of the color and I hope that the camera is picking this up because it is so gorgeous in, in person. But the name of the color is Toasty Gold. And I did a little research, y'all, because I haven't seen any Toasty Gold metallic bags. Now, I've seen the Kipling metallics and I've seen the gold Kipling metallics, but I haven't seen this Toasty Gold. And the reason why is I don't think they make this color anymore. They have a starry gold, they have a sparkly gold, and they have a metallic glow that has replaced this Toasty Gold color. I saw the metallic gold yesterday in person when I was in Macy's and that metallic glow is also beautiful. However, I am very partial to this one because y'all know it's something about when something isn't made anymore, you end up gravitating more to it, right? And I want to thank you all for leaving those wonderful comments underneath my Anna Sui video. There were a couple of people who told me, girl, take those two bags back. You're not going to be happy with them if you're not happy with them now and save your coins or use your coins for something you really want. And y'all, I got this for an incredible price. It had the price tag of $84 on it and it was 60% off. So it came out to $33 without tax. I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. It was the only bag available. The young lady there at Kipling opened up the drawers and started to look for some more 
of these and she said we don't have any more i said i will take the display okay <laughs> i mean y'all know how i feel about aubers i am absolutely in love with this bag now let me show you because i already do have it packed with my things and you all already know what i keep in my aubers so i'm not going to spend too much time on that but let me show you all the beautiful features of this bag. I hope I can show this. Let me bring this in a little bit closer because the Kipling zippers are silver, but it's a bright silver. I don't know if you all can see that. Very bright silver. And I do have my other bag, of course, for comparison. So if you can see on this lovely dotted bouquet one, and speaking of this dotted bouquet one, I was looking on... Poshmark yesterday just for some dotted bouquet items because Potato Peach, hey girl, she got a whole bunch of dotted bouquet items. And I said, let me see if I can find any <laughs> items myself because the print is just so lovely. However, when I searched, I saw another young lady. She put ISO, which I believe means in search of. She was actually searching for this bag. So y'all, this is a very desirable print. But but back to the zippers. These zippers are more matte, which I love, like a matte silver even. And then this is a very shiny, sparkly silver to really complement the gold bag. I just love this. It's so beautiful. Y'all know why I love Albers. The features of the Albers are unmatched, in my opinion. If you try to compare it to any other mini bag, you're going to end up falling short with that comparison because to me, the Auber just soars high above anything else, especially that Delia Compact, right? <laughs> so anyway, this particular bag, by it being a solid color, you can really look at it and appreciate the actual features of the Auber. When you see the Auber in, for example, a print, sometimes everything meshes together and you can't really tell what's what. For example, you might not be able to tell, oh, there's a flap right there. But here in this solid color, you can see everything. You can see all of its glory. Even with the black, sometimes you can't tell because it's such a dark color. But with this beautiful toasty gold color, and I'm sorry if I just called it sparkly gold because there is actually a sparkly gold that Kipling makes and there is a metallic pewter that they also make. So those four different ones that I mentioned earlier, and let me say them again because I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. I'm just so excited. But there's a starry gold metallic. There is a sparkly gold, a metallic glow, a metallic pewter which is like a brown very dark brown gold and of course i have the toasty gold here and so i was trying to find are there any more toasty gold bags and like i said i think that kipling doesn't make them anymore but they still make this beautiful shade of gold metallic and if you search it's out there and speaking of searching i i'm sorry y'all i keep dropping my notes i have some notes on a post-it <laughs> and i keep on dropping them but Anyway, I want to bring your attention to albers that I have found on the internet. So yesterday I got lost in YouTube universe once again, searching around, trying to find more albers because I just love the like search for them and to find them, discover them and have something that maybe someone else doesn't have. I love that. But anyway, this particular bag that I'm showing on the screen is Sunray Floral. And this Alber is found on Amazon and I've seen it for a while now. However, the colors don't speak to me. Of course, it being an Alber speaks to me, but the colors are not my cup of tea. So I did not purchase that one, but it is available. There is also a gray weave Alber, which is also on Amazon, I believe. And there's one on I want to say eBay, but I know for sure on Amazon. That one is also very lovely. It does not have the front flap, but you all know my Mary Poppins mini Albert also doesn't have the front flap and I enjoy carrying that one a lot. 
There is a platinum one, which is a silver color, also on Amazon. And that particular platinum color I saw pop up, I want to say three to four months ago on Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I wasn't interested because a silver bag um, just didn't call out my name, but this particular gold one. And honestly, I will say this because there is a gold one just like this, the toasted gold one also on I didn't write it down. I believe on Amazon. I want to say on Amazon. There is a toasty gold one, but the pictures, like I say, don't do it justice. So I wasn't drawn to that one because I hadn't seen it in person. And so I passed on it. But seeing it in the outlet, oh, it was just amazing. And after coming off of my disappointment with the Anna Sui items that I purchased from Macy's, I was just going to the outlet, just hoping that something would catch my eye to make up for how I felt. And originally, like I said, I thought I would pick up the art pouch, but after seeing this, woo, it just blew me away. There's also the gray gold floral, which is available nowhere. And that is my ultimate Alber that I would love to find. I would actually love to find it new because I had found it a couple of months ago used on Macari and Parshmark and it was beat up so I could not purchase it. But the little gold logo on that particular gray gold floral was all scratched up and so I was like, no, I can't carry a bag that doesn't at least look like it's been loved. The bag looked like it had been kind of like through the trenches and destroyed. So I passed on that, but I am still searching for that bag because that is so beautiful to me. I love the contrast of the red fluffy monkey with it. It's just so cute. So let's get into this bag and let's get into how I have it packed. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the little details of it because y'all know what I put in my Alberts. If you watched that dotted bouquet alber video that i did a couple videos ago the same items are in here and those are my everyday essential items so let's go ahead and get started i'm definitely going to cut this off because y'all know i'm keeping this but i wanted to show you that it says it's an onboard exclusive and y'all these are old tags because the lady told me that they got a couple of these in at the store as a trade-in. So I should have asked more questions about what that meant, but I was just on my cloud nine that I was so focused on, let me get this you know, display bag in my hands because there were other people in the store walking around and looking at me like I was crazy when I was jumping for joy when I saw it. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get started. As I said, the zippers are beautiful. I don't have any Kipling zippers like this that are completely shiny gold, like shiny silver like this. It just is lovely. Really, really lovely. The bag itself reminds me of fall because I'm going to be able to be sparkling around. I mean, even uh, the holidays, right? This looks like a beautiful bag you could wear for the holidays and for this wonderful fall season that is upon us. Okay, let me get started. So inside of this flap, I have, of course, y'all know my earbuds. I'm just going to pull out my little phone earbuds. Okay. And then in this beautiful zipper part, I love these zippers. And y'all, this is why I love the Alber because the chunky zippers are used. And Kipling uses different types of zippers on all of their bags. But seeing the chunky zippers on this Alber and all the Albers, just, it, it's wonderful because it's, it's about the ease for me. It is so easy to get inside of the Alber and grab your things when you need it quick and lightning fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull over this zipper. And inside I've got my Coach Zip Wallet, which now matches really, really well with this toasty gold Alber. I would put this wallet in all of my Albers, but it really does match super well because of the gold that is around the Coach Zip Wallet. It really is a beautiful pairing. So now in the bottom part, I have my little feminine items down there, about four or five you can fit gonna go ahead and put this right back in there mm, I'm just so excited y'all um now let's get into the main compartment I'll turn it this way because I want y'all to see all the little zippers so I'm gonna open it up oh y'all this zip I love it mm, 
Mm. Okay, and when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So my phone can fit right here, which I usually have my phone right in there in that front flap. I have my pen in the pen sleeve. I've got my sunglasses and my little Dollar Tree case. I have my La Sport Sac Square Cosmetic. I have my Target reusable bag. I have an important paper here for myself. Y'all look at this. We've got the key leash. Ooh, the beautiful toasty gold key leash. Got my keys hanging from there. Y'all, this key leash is definitely to die for. And then the zippered pocket, the privacy pocket in the back has the authentication card there. And of course it goes all the way to the bottom, which is really nice. And of course I have at the very bottom section in my Kipling small creativity. Inside of there, I've got my keys inside of my little Ikea pouch and some other little necessities that I need inside there as well. So I'm gonna zip this up and put things right back in. Y'all, I'm just, uh, I am really, really loving that I'm finding all of these beautiful bags. Oh, it's just so wonderful. So let me put this back in. Do I have everything? Oh, I forgot my little Target reusable bag. I'll put that in in a second. But y'all look at this. Mm, let me take you around the bag. Just gorgeous. Straps are beautiful. Like I said, all of the shiny metal is just really catching my eye. The bag is just really, really well made. Oh. So please stay tuned, y'all, for this try on because I am going to be jazzing it up, carrying this beautiful, beautiful bag. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate you all. Grace and peace. Stay tuned for the try on. Peace.